first manned test flight is successful, but there is one major problem with the catapult idea. Once launched, there is no way the pilot can return to the ship. The principal reason for the introduction of the Hurricane was essentially as a stopgap measure. This is a one-way mission and possibly a suicide mission. The modified Hurricanes, called Hurricats, will be flown only by volunteers. The first battle between a Hurricat and a Condor is on August 3rd, 1941. The Hurricat pilot is a former jockey and winner of the Grand National, Robert Everett. It is the ultimate test of this new tactic and the most daunting mission Everett has ever faced. I would feel very anxious, uh, not only just getting airborne off that kind of rocket-powered contraption, but then engaging a very heavily armed bomber and then knowing that even if you weren't shot down, that you were going to ditch in the sea anyway, that kind of mission profile fills me with anxiety. High in the clouds above the convoy, the patrolling German Condor does not see the rocket fire from Everett's launch. The German pilot is taken by surprise, but still manages to damage the Hurricane with his gunfire. When Everett closed with the Condor, he discovered a problem. The Condor was bristling with defensive armament. It carried eight machine guns and a heavy cannon, and those soon took a toll of his aircraft. Knowing he is all that stands between the convoy and its destruction, Everett fires the last of his ammunition into the Condor's cockpit. The Nazi bomber goes down in flames, the first to be destroyed by a Hurricane. But Everett is not yet out of danger.